Chair, how would you describe this atmosphere in this building tonight? Uh, it was fun. Uh, fun game. We competed. Uh, we did everything we had. Of course, when we came up short, uh, we want to appreciate. So we appreciate the fans and thank them for coming out and uh, supporting us. Uh, it was, uh, like I said, it was something that uh, uh, we needed, and especially for the young guys to go through something like what they went through in terms of the atmosphere. Uh, it was good. You've got Oklahoma City coming up in just a few days. What do you take away from tonight and focus on working on over the next few uh, days? Oh, it's a different type of team, um, but with the effort that we put out over the last few games, um, hopefully we can carry on to that game in Oklahoma City and we can uh, go out and. Uh, I'm try to get a win. Yeah, how guys, much of I think you guys were up 57, 56 midway in the third quarter. Were you feeling good about the work position? You had, a, you had a good offensive rhythm going. Yeah, we were, we were doing pretty well on both ends of the court. We were getting stops and, um, you know, getting good looks, whether they went in or, or they didn't. Um, you know, you can't, you can't control that sometimes. But as long as we got good looks and stops, I, you know, I think um, as a player and, you know, Jack as a coach, you know, you have to be satisfied with that. I mean, how good is it to be able to put the, the circus of this atmosphere behind you? I mean, the circus that you guys created it wasn't a circus for me. Uh, it was, you know, like I said tonight, it was fun. It was fun. I was glad to see the fans come out and, and um, you know, support us. And they've been doing that since I've been here uh, over the um, last nine years. So I'm um, just looking forward to, to moving on and playing against Oklahoma City uh, on Friday. And, uh, like I said, giving out, giving the, you know, the same effort. Did you I, had a chance to talk to Dwight the after the game. Can you share? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get anything. Uh, what, what happened to me and Dwight? Just, you know, um, I'm not going to give you guys anything else to write about. Uh, you guys can speculate like we've been doing and uh, come up with some stories. But uh, you know, one thing is, um, like I said, you know, I wish him the best, no matter where he is and what he's doing. Um, you know, we came to the league together, and, and um, you know, I have no bad blood. Nick Anderson shared some words of encouragement with you there at the end. Did, uh, can you share that with us? No, I'm not going to share anything personal. Uh, it's nothing personal. I mean, you know, me and Nick are friends. He's here uh, working in an organization, and you know, he shares words with me of wisdom throughout the year. So uh, there's no reason for you to share what he said to me tonight. Well, it's not like you created you. something out of thin air with you, Dwight. I mean, stuff happened last season. Uh, well, I mean, you know what, man? You know, me and Dwight, we had great years together. Uh, we had fun together, and you guys can take. With what I say or what he say and, and kind of make your own stories. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything bad about any one of my former teammates or my current teammates because I have nothing bad to say about them. Um, you know, my job is to go out there and play no matter who's on the court with me and you know, no matter where I'm at. Um, you know, I get paid to play and I, and I love playing. I mean, it seems like you were able to find some soft spots when you were going up against Dwight Mullane. Is that something maybe you learned in practice and against them for so many years? But you blew by him. Four or five times. Well, I, I know you know him as a defender. He, he's um, obviously very great at that defending, picking rolls, and you know shot blocking. Um, I just think you know when you have a big guy, no matter who it is, you just stay in attack mode, and, and something good will happen for you. Uh, he, he's going to contest my shot, and if I miss, um, my teammate will get it. You know because you know he should be going to the boards, or if not, I'll, I'll make the layup. But you think it was an advantage all those times being able to go against him throughout the year? Uh, I mean, we started together. It's, it's kind of we didn't play. You know. We didn't play against each other that much in practice, so um, you know I just try to use my smarts and, and try to you know get the ball as quick as I can and uh, you know be accurate when I got to the basket. Jabir, he didn't make free throws in December. You guys fouled him intentionally. He hadn't made them throughout his career, but tonight he made them. Is it just a matter of whether it goes in or not with his free throw? I guess um, you know he made them tonight, so I, I'm you know I can't go back and look on things uh, in the past and. You know, I'm just in the moment right now. You know, he made what 25 tonight uh, out of what, 39. Yeah, so um, he stepped up and knocked him down when his team needed him. So. Thank you. Thank you.